Hey, everybody. Oh, wait, let me get my headphones. Hey. Yes, Breezy JJ's on time for class. Big comedian Shang in the building. Uh, we're going to view that. Yeah. Get these headphones in. Okay. <laughs> now we're doing something. That's called production, people. Right there. Yep. Shang uh, yeah, we are here. We are here. And this That's is right. when the shit starts. Everybody knows hey. the shit's going to start, but this is when it starts. Hey, uh, while I, while I um, go ahead and tag some info for y'all. Uh, Miss Adverb, look at you on time. Now, don't get sassy just because you showed up early one day. Man. Yeah, uh, yeah. don't be starting some shit because she started some shit. Don't, don't hey, go man. there. But uh, yesterday, the big homie here at Comedian Shang, who you should be following, uh, celebrated another birthday, man. So let's go ahead. I'm here. I'll, yes. I want to send, send that birthday love out there um, to Shang right now while I, I tell you what yeah, to do. It, in it inbox me. At, at Venmo. That's what the fuck y'all need to do. Yeah, yeah, man. Cash out. <laughs> Forget all that happy birthday shit. Y'all need to... I'll inbox you my Venmo, and we go from there. How about that? No. <laughs> yeah, man. But it's happy birthday to you, Shane, man. Thank how, you, how young man. What, what, what'd you get into? Uh, I use I used birthdays as a time to reflect, man. I, I don't really party or you know uh now i did have about 20 hookers over here don't get it twisted okay. i mean no, that's not really but, uh, a party no. for you that's that's taking yeah that's life. really that's just a that's just a sunday but are uh, you are you slowing down on me in your old age i know oh, man i'm getting old so i said usually it'd be 35 40 hookers <laughs> I mean, uh, at least. <laughs> for breakfast <laughs> yeah for at least for breakfast no nah, man i i literally i literally use it as a time to go through the shit i've you know, didn't do right, and I, I to fix everything, to fix things, and so, you know, that's what I do. Good shit, man. Well, I, I hope you had a good one. I hope uh, you were surrounded by loved and loved ones. Uh, yeah, man. Glad, glad you made it through another. I made it through it. I made it through another year. Um, yo, is it pixelated? Is it pixelated? Or is it? Is it? it it's you know, it's got like that. Um, like hey. That that dreamy blur to it, like uh, what like the, the like the edible just kicked in, and I'm starting to feel the pressure in my eyes, and you're like, Man, oh man. damn! Well, like, you know what? Shit. Let me, uh, let me um, see if I can fix that. In the uh, meantime, pretty on the left it, and the right, we see you, Lynette Kamara. I see you, Blythe Styling. Look at you, stunned. Uh, can't wait for uh, shit to open back up, Blythe. Uh, wow, TK, people are already going you. in on me. What are you, 102? I am 101. You shut your mouth. Now, and I look good it. for 101. That's what's wrong with the generation. Lady Hazel May, we see you as well. Uh, and of Real. course somebody called me right then. So I'm going to jump off and jump back on. All right, while Shang's jumping off and jumping back in, I'm going to let you guys know that you can... Uh, oh, shit, I forgot to pin the damn thing that I posted. See, all this damn talking. <laughs> Not enough thinking. Uh, so bringing Shane back in, but uh, you can also uh, follow us as a podcast wherever you get your podcasts on all platforms. Uh, but most importantly right now, we really want you to subscribe to us on YouTube. Just search for Savage AF Podcast on YouTube and get that going in your life. Kane Garlene, go do it, girl. Put that martini down and go follow us on uh, YouTube. <laughs> Put the martini down then, and subscribe it back to up. Savage AF. Also subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast version of the show, which yeah. is Savage AF on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. And, uh, and, you know, these are just ways that if you can't catch us live here on IG Monday through Friday, Mondays, 3 p Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I know, Time. Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m., yeah. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you can't catch us here on IG Live, just know that the podcast and the YouTube is the way for you to catch up um, to, to any past episodes. Or if you're late to class like RVA Gourmet and you want to see what we talked about at the beginning, hey, RVA, go sit in the corner. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go out in the sun today and do it. Go. today. 
get, get some vitamin D, man. Go ahead, get it. I'm going to go out and get some of the vitamin D. All right. Which, so, you know what? I don't know if you can say vitamin D because, you know, it because it, that's a different meaning for the ladies. Hey, man, for the, but we ain't the ladies, man. It's just good old medical <laughs> nutrients and, and shit uh, <laughs> coming from the sun, direct from the source. <laughs> Uh, so check this out, man. You ready to get into some show today? It is uh, September twenty fifth. It just keeps. Well, you know what? I'm I'm ready to get into it. If if you can give me seven hundred and fifty dollars, so I can use it to pay my taxes. Get yeah, there we go. So we definitely gonna start the show with that. But with the daily run up, I'm gonna start from the bottom. Now we here, right? So uh, we actually gonna end today with all this shit going on. We are gonna end today's. Uh, show talking about uh, a cold case, as in the cases of Corona are still rising up. People are going to be catching colds. We let, let us not forget about the pandemic. Uh, but before we get into that, an update to the Jacob Blake um, case. Uh, this is the brother in Kenosha, Washington. I mean, uh, Wisconsin. Sorry, who was shot in the Wisconsin, back seven yeah. times uh, by a police officer at point blank range. Is uh, he survived, but is paralyzed. Uh, we're going to talk about why the officer said he actually shot him. His, the, the officer's attorney spoke out. Going to be interesting. Uh, but before we talk about that, we got a little food for debate. As in, tomorrow will be the first presidential debate between uh, Slow Biden and Trumpy Dumpty. <laughs> but uh, we're going to see, because the food part of the debate comes from, like Shang mentioned right here, September 28th, 2020, Savage AF. Uh... There's two things guaranteed in life, death and all these motherfucking taxes that Trumpy Dumpty done avoided for goddamn 15, 20, 25, 35 years now. Um, so it's, it came out yesterday on a Sunday of all days that, that Life's Chain said $750, your boy, Trumpy Dumpty, his, his first year in office and the second year he paid, like the year he came into office and the, and the second year, he paid $750 each year in income tax. He also... That's uh, fucking ten, horrible. 10 out of the past 15 years, he's paid zero dollars in income tax and 11 out of the last 18, he's also paid zero in income tax. Now listen, listen, y'all. We know, we know that the fucking system is rigged and you can, there's all kind of loopholes and the rich get to keep their money while the poor keep paying out. My motherfucker, ain't this this tax system in no way is set up. Even the wealthiest of wealthy motherfuckers are paying only like twenty four percent. You know what I mean? Which right. is a, a little bit of a drop in the bucket for these guys. You know what I mean? But seven fifty zero? Nah, the tax the tax, and this is tied into what Letitia James, you know, New York State Attorney General, is is investigating in terms of his devaluations of of. of assets um, to either uh, dupe investors or avoid taxes. Um, but to be honest, Shane, I'm going to let you speak on the taxes, but it, it's, that's not even the deepest part to me because well, well, go ahead. Let's speak on the taxes because he is also highly, highly personally in debt. But let, let, let's stick with the taxes for one second. Okay, well, let's stick with the, uh, he's over 500. Uh, he's over $100 million uh, he, he owes. Over a hundred million, another hundred four hundred and seventy-one million he owes in taxes yeah. and and bullshit and fines and all of those shit. But let's go to the the fact that he pays seven fifty. You know, there's motherfuckers that that don't hardly make no money, and they pay seven hundred fifty dollars in taxes. So yeah, we yeah. already know that he was. But but you know who said I, it? I just watched a clip of the debate with Hillary Clinton. She literally mapped out everything that was been said. She said it. So, yeah, listen, so, like you said, Biden needs to say it again. You, you brought Biden up, needs to say that shit again. You brought up people struggling who don't make much and, and are paying as much, if not more, in, in income tax. You know, uh, I saw a graphic on CNN. Um, you know, I think your average nurse is registered nurse is paying like ten thousand dollars in income tax per year. Um, All right. I think. Who was it this paint? Uh, oh, your average uh, construction manager, you know, that's, that's Trumpy Dumpty's world, is paying like $16,000 in income tax. Um, you know, um, Americans uh, across all walks of life. I mean, like, I, they take taxes from me, my nigga. You know what I mean? Like, they, we, they take taxes, bro. But and when, and when, you, I get a, when I get you, a return, you end up paying it. Yeah, and when I get a return, it, it's not 
equivalent to what they took. So I, I, whether I file or not, I know I pay taxes. You know what I'm saying? Whether I file later, whatever, I know I'm paying taxes. Rachel Cuthbert, welcome to the show. We very funny lady. Yes, thank you so KC. much for coming on the show. But I want to ask anybody here on Savage AF. Um, honestly, are you surprised that he cheats on his taxes? He cheats on his wives. You see, he you know he cheats on all. How many wives? Uh, three wives. He's cheating on his wives with prostitutes and hookers, and he wrote off. Um, a lot of shit that you can't, you simply can't write off. So I think that should be tax fraud. They should go after him. But the Democrats with they pussy ass right. is so worried about looking the wrong way. They ain't going to do it. Now, in this fucking debate, oh, no. if Biden don't bring that shit up, you, if, every time Trump say something, well, shut we'll the get, fuck up. Why don't you pay your taxes, bitch? We'll get into $750. Yeah. Kiss my ass. Now, Miss Adverb, you did say this. I said this before that you said this. Yes, Miss Adverb, definitely. Oh, you know? No. So... So here's the thing. You got, in addition to regular Americans who pay, you know, pay their income tax, whether they want to or not, gets taken out your check. Um, the past, the past, like, five presidents, um, I saw a graphic, again, on CNN. I, think, I got that graphic. I think other than... Uh, Biden. Other than Trump... Bill Clinton may have paid the lowest in his, and this was the first year, like entering as president, what you paid in income tax. Bill Clinton paid like sixty-two thousand. Uh, George W. Bush paid like two hundred fifty thousand in, in income tax. Motherfucking Barack Obama paid one point seven nine two million dollars in income tax when he came into office in two thousand eight oh nine. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. This nigga paid $1.8 million in income tax, and then the next graphic is Trump with his little $750. Right. It reminds it remind me of that, uh, that Eddie Murphy joke where you like, uh, now we got $300 million in $70. <laughs> I, mean, like, I put in on the American cap. Now we got Eddie. $750. <laughs> take this $750 and take it off the national debt. That's Trump D. Dumby. I got y'all. Here's $750. But you know put what? The uh, they they <laughs> asked the question about this. Obviously, some horrible shit. And y'all know it's some horrible shit. And y'all be like, damn, man, I fucking pay that much. Check it out. Not one of his followers is going to get mad about the shit. Okay, can we get the instructions? Exactly. Can we get the instructions on how to just pay $750? And I've been hit over the fucking head. I'm going to tell y'all some personal shit. When my pops passed away, I had went away for a month. I went back to Jersey. Then we went to Jamaica, take care of his business. I had $25,000 in the bank. I didn't realize from touring overseas that you have to pay taxes on the shit that you sell over there. You can't just bring the money back and just like fall out of control. So I, I came back to buy something with me and my son, and all of it was out of the bank because they, they, I, they went in my taxes, and they took the money I owed, and I still owed another 8000 because I never paid on none of my overseas monies because I didn't know. I thought, well, I pay here. No, you have to pay there, too. You have to pay there. You, you have to pay here. So if they came after me and went in my fucking shit was 25 racks, 25,000 racks, and I had zero. I had to borrow money for rent and food mm -hmm. for a while. If and you, uh... luckily I had enough shows to pay back the people I borrowed from my family and stuff. I paid them back immediately, but check that out. And this motherfucker ain't getting caught for, for tax fraud. And they like came that. after me and, and, and housed me. Like, imagine you know you got $25,000 in the bank. You come home, and there is none. Zero. Yeah, Zilch. Listen, I think, yeah. most I think it was most deaf who said it, and maybe the song was Mr. Nigger, but to go overseas and you get overseas. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, man. I didn't know. That's exactly what happened to me. Go overseas right? and you right get when my overseas. Right when my pops passed. So, so I just when I, I thought about it when I saw this shit with the seven hundred fifty dollars, yeah. and it basically shows how that mega mega rich can avoid all of yeah, the so, different pitfalls. So that of is it. The, that is that is one huge highlight of it. Outside that that's more of the you know as the French would say with with the strong taxes this is the micro effect, but there <laughs> is a macro effect. And what are you saying with a minute? Wait a minute. <laughs> the macro, the macro is. <laughs> we, see, we see a tax. No, no, is, no. We see a tax system <laughs> that is set up to give this massive amount of relief to the, to the mega wealthy. But with Trumpy Dumpty, 
this this looks egregious. However, we don't actually have confirmation that he did anything illegal. He might have just loopholed his way through it. It's highly unlikely. Probably but it's still the, the, it's the However, ethical. How it, so? Getting to the ethics, right? What I think is come more, on. What I think is more important is that is the debt. Okay, so not just what he owes in taxes, but his loans. Like he is a, above four hundred and twenty million dollars in in debt, uh, in loans. Right, right, through, through, and through, through he, got, he got seventy-two. Loans. He got seventy-two million dollars kickback, so he has to pay that back in fines. Uh, he has he to pay that back. To, the, uh, may, that, that's that's what's being audited by the IRS well, right now. Is a is a seventy-two million dollar refund that he got, or almost seventy-three million that he got a couple years, a uh, few years back. Um, but he's got you know from his real estate investments and various businesses that he has going, he has four hundred twenty million dollars in debt. That that's just off the loans, right? Which in the next four to five years, do nigga loans are due, right? Um, but on top of that, uh, I heard an estimate that with his total assets, oh, and Shang had to jump, but he'll be back. But with his total assets for everybody, he could be in the range of a billion dollars uh, in debt because, as as this paperwork that the New York Times has shows. Allegedly, we haven't seen it, but allegedly this paperwork shows that the businesses that he is involved in, that he does not manage, do well, right? The businesses he's involved in right. that, that, that he does not manage do well. The businesses that he is involved in, that he directly manages, fail, have failed, continue to fail, are cash fucking money pits, right? Like just, right. just dead, dead fucking entities that he has fucking uh, withered into the ground. Okay, so he is a, a death pit for money. He's a death but this, star. No, but you know what? This is the wild part right here. If you look at all his followers, all you dumb motherfuckers, all you dumb motherfuckers, all you, I'm going to have to give the Denzel finger, cases. all you dumb motherfuckers, you cases. dumb motherfuckers, cases. you actually still think he's a good businessman. You still yeah. think he's a good businessman when all this shit Pedro just ran down four hundred over four hundred million dollars that he owes in loans and right. and and possibly audited seventy two million dollars and all this other shit. Um, please, 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 don't nobody please. say shit. Or I'm gonna swear to God, <laughs> please, please, please. he's not gonna shoot you with Gertrude, but he's gonna take the back of Gertrude, the back and the gun butt side, and he gonna bust you in the left side of your temple. Not enough to kill you, but to wake your ass up, cause he is not a good. Pr His father bailed him out of every fucking thing. Get the fuck out of here. Speaking and four hundred. Four hundred twenty million dollars is a lot of motherfucking money so, to pay back so, in four years, and we, and we don't even know all the entities that he's he owes this money to, right? So, um, not only does it negate the argument that he is a good businessman, okay, but it also bolsters the argument that, um, and you know, we joke about, and even though this is was Putin's mo as a KGB operative. To, to blackmail right. to blackmail people with with pictures of of you know uh, compromising events. Um, uh, events? You mean people you know? peeing on you and and so dudes peeing joke, on we, you and women joke, peeing on you? We joke about the pee tape, but the reality is he he's probably more likely beholden financially to foreign some sort of foreign entity. Mm, wonder what countries it could be. Whose anus does he live in? Who mm. does he serve as an anal tampon for? I would say, mm. I would say, possibly the Russians. Do you, well, you do know, you, somebody possibly the Russians. What's possibly. what? What's the Russian president's last name? Putin, which is put in, as in Trump has been put in Putin's asshole, right? Like, he's, right. He's been put in there, Putin. He's been put in Putin. Right. And, and Putin he, has a little side door where when he don't want to go directly through the asshole, he can go to the side go, and then get in the ass. He can but go this, to the left Okay, wall. Pedro, and you know this, and everybody here on Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Powered by us, motherfuckers. <laughs> by no, powered by dad. Uh, yeah, Darren hit me up today, which is wild. He finally yeah. hit me up and said, did he hit you up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were on the same thing. Yeah. Uh, we on the same feed. I didn't know if he did it. So the end of the day is he's not a good president. 
but he's not a good businessman. And if they don't need anything else, and this came out right before the debates, which I hope if Biden fucking glosses over this shit and don't hit him over the head with this shit, Biden, you know what? Fuck you. I still will vote for you, but fuck you. Democrats, you little yeah. bitches. Uh, I mean, if, if somebody owed me that up. much, what would before, you do? Before we go to that, because uh, Breezy JJ's is like, he's definitely compromised. And, and, and you know, th this is the other thing where it's like, but we knew all of this, right? It, but it's, it's good that the New York Times has the evidence. But it's obvious he's been hiding his taxes because the shit was shady. Um, you brought up his father earlier. Um, I believe Fred Trump and or Fred Trumpy Dumpty. Uh, they, yeah, uh, who actually was associated with the Klan. Just want to yeah. throw that in there. Little uh, sweetener. Little also, sweetener. Also a banker for the Nazis. Uh, but whatever. You know, small details. Don't get caught up in that, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah. you Wait a minute. About, Don't worry about that shit. Don't worry about the little Nazi connection. We'll, we'll, stay, we'll stay past that. But um, yeah. so his father bailed him out, um, which, you know, is how parenthood should work. You know, you should be there for your kids. Um, but he, I believe, is, is, is dragging his, his daughter, who he wants to have sex with, um, the one he wants to have sex with, not not Tiffany. Sorry, not the me. other one. Call me. The somebody, other one somebody would hit hold the girl, camera. Not, not him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the other one would hold the camera while he fucked. While he was, yeah. So, uh, but He's Ivanka done. apparently received seven hundred fifty thousand dollars <laughs> as, as a consulting fee for doing the same job that she was supposed to do for the Trump organization. So, right. He. Hired her as an outside outside consultant, wrote it off as taxes, as a tax deduction, um, while also... Big Chris in the building, Big Chris she, Floyd. While she was also employed um, as part of the organization for basically doing the same thing. So, uh, you know, in, in that sense, I think he's now implicated his own child in all of this, at least one of them. Uh, by the way... Well, Eric, his son's Eric, already implemented. Eric, Trump, if, Eric if, Trump, yeah, is sitting before... He's been suspended by right. New York, so that, you know. But he's, he's bringing his family down, like where his dad at least tried to raise him up and say, look, I know you have the mind of wolf shit, but I'm, here's, some, here's a jillion dollars. Go make something of yourself, young man. And he yeah. was like, oh. grab him by the pussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and that was it. And he became president. Think about that. Um, Eve's underscore Apple, mm. 7916. What's up, baby? Cheers to y'all. Baby, baby. <laughs> Yo, um, what's going on, Eve? Without Eve, we couldn't get a lot of this shit done. So big up to the queen, the queen of seven. Uh, no, I mean, I want to ask everybody now, think about it. Have you ever had tax problems? I had tax problems twice because one time I didn't know overseas hit you so fucking hard. And I was torn and torn and torn thinking, hey, everything's cool. I'm going to have some money in the bank. I'm going to save the money up. I'm going to get a house and everything else. And it was like, oh, shit. I had all that money in the bank. Oh, shit. I got zero. I got zero. Wow. But, uh, wow. Help me, what please. Happened? Please, help me. Help me. Can you help me? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, saying, I'm so glad you caught that. Yeah, please. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, and so that's what I'm saying. Why, why is the IRS letting him slide? Because he's hiring a lot of the people that are high up in the IRS to let him slide. So you understand, you see the corruption that's going on. You see they're trying to go, like, speed things through, pretending not only with his, this shit, but with the, the Supreme Court justice pick, which this cunt is fucking scary. Mm -hmm. So we said it before. We're saying it again. Ladies, hide your pussy. Hide, hide your pussy. Hide your pussy. Hide your pussy. Hide your pussy. Hide it. Don't oh, let them catch you with one because they're coming for it. Yeah, they are. They coming, coming for your pussy. When the and they ain't gonna just grab it. They're gonna grab it and they're gonna keep it. Um KJ. Now the other thing you gotta think about, not only the money he owes, his businesses are actually failing. Not the Trump Tower is losing fifty two million dollars a pop. Okay. Um the Trump Tower, his golf courses are way, way, way lower than the amount of money he needs to make to run them. So if you look at this stuff, and then what did what did it say? Eve, Eve said, "Why are we hiding pussy? Because the Supreme Court is about to come for your shit. The Republicans are about to they about to lock it down. They're gonna wrap barbed wire around it, and they only gonna let out unwanted babies that they don't want to take care of. And then they're gonna put them on the poor, and they're gonna make you sit there. And you have to stick a hanger up your pussy. And if you ever saw Dirty Dancing or whatever them fucking movies was, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So see, you made him tear up. They're gonna take the fucking health care away." And the vagina away, and then what we gonna yes. be left with? 
What are we gonna be left? Okay, let me let me hit y'all to something. Number one, the Affordable Care Act, which is up to them Obamacare, but it's Affordable Care Act. They're trying to go after that shit. That's number one. Number two, don't get it twisted. Roe versus Wade has already been talked about in a major way, and a lot of the far they're right gunning. they're gunning. They're <laughs> they're gonna go <laughs> after. So you ladies, ladies, you understand if you don't get out there and vote and make this shit happen because there's more women than men, we are gonna be in motherfucking trouble. Hide your pussy if you we lose. Hide your pussy. Hide your pussy. You hide I'm yeah. telling you, right? Breezy, Breezy JJ said chastity belts are back in style. You complaining about masks, ladies? Wait till your pussy can't breathe. Wait till yeah, your pussy think about can't that. breathe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Trip but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You worried about bedazzling the mask you wear. Imagine a bedazzled pussy. <laughs> Well, Come since on. You, well, since you done brought up the word, damn it, Chang, we, we're, hoping, we're hoping that tomorrow... Uh, in the first presidential debate, that uh, uh, Joe Biden bedazzles America by bedazzling Trump with bedazzling information. Okay, just just hitting him with, like you said earlier, this tax shit. Right, it, this should be food for the debate. This new tax information should really be able to hit because the narrative that Joe Biden has been building, and for those who don't know, uh, starting at like 4 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, the coverage of the first presidential debate for the 2020 uh, cycle uh, will be aired. Uh, Chris Wallace from Fox News of all places is moderating. But uh, yeah, man, it's one of those things where we're looking for- Wait a minute, whoa, 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 what? Chris Wallace? Chris Wallace from Fox News I, is moderating so this one. they can do that? They can, it's, it's gonna be on Fox? Uh, I think all the networks are gonna carry it. You can watch it on CNN or MSNBC as well. I think the, all the, but but the, the moderator- Chris will be Chris. Oh, he's Santa. gonna soft I mean, from, fucking, uh, Fox. he's gonna throw softballs at Trump. He's like, so what's your favorite color? Then Biden, what's the what's the what's the what's the round the, the square root of pie? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's a bitch. Uh, Trump, Trump, what's your favorite food? Oh, Kentucky fried chicken. Okay. And then uh, Biden, uh let me ask you something. How much money did Batman begins make? <laughs> Fuck. Or, or even, even if they ask the same question, like, you know, what's your favorite food, uh, KFC, and then Biden's like, kale. They're going to be like, communist! <laughs> you know? yeah, exactly. But, but, oh, yeah, fuck, there, there, that's so bad. There, there will be other debates, and other networks, anchors, will be hosting. Um, but he you know, should be fact-checked. You know, hey, to, to be honest, Megyn Kelly, um, I thought, for all the witchery that she is, was fairly decent as a moderator in those she was decent so, if, if but you know what if she that, was decent moment, if she wasn't a, bleeding out a certain if she, <laughs> she wasn't bleeding, bleeding out of certain whatever. points yeah, of her exactly that was that yeah point, if she right? wasn't so, bleeding out of whatever and if her pussy <laughs> wasn't so bloody she's bleeding out of her eyes and they let him get away with that so this is how fucked up the republicans are but, fuck but, y'all but listen y'all don't call him on this shit 750 dog two fifteen hundred dollars over two years is what el nuke welcome to the building Seven, uh, seven fifty, fifteen hundred dollars over two years. His first two years as president is what Trumpy Dumpty put into the tax pool uh, for America. Um, this should be something that Joe Biden and the camp should be able to eat up because the, the the argument that they've been setting up, the dichotomy is that Joe Biden is Scranton, Pennsylvania, Main Street, you know, blue collar, and Trumpy right. Dumpty, Trumpy Dumpty is is you know Wall Street. All, all about their dollar, not not for the people. And I mean, this highlights it. Like you said, Shane, his his true base, they don't care. They're gonna be like, "Well, I wish I was that smart as a businessman, so I didn't have to pay taxes neither." But the dang don't dang, and don't realize that right. if everybody did that, then there wouldn't be any fucking country, my nigga. Like, right, there wouldn't be any we country. Just, you want we'd to get all be sitting paid. around like fucking Jamaican leprechauns, like, "Stay away from me, fucking gold," you know. What I mean? like, <laughs> Me want me fucking go. Like, it's, you know, there won't be. It a, would, it's, that's what happens. And the thing is, you got to understand, not only did he do that, but there's other corruption that he did that the New York AG is going to go after him. If, he's, if he doesn't win, he immediately is going to be still, in court in New, New York State. Still it's still coming because his son is already in trouble. But this is also All part right. of the, the trouble is, again, you ready for this? Tax fucking evasion. That's tax evasion. <laughs> Tech plus plus debt, which compromises you. So here's the, here, and here's another thing: why we why we get into the finances of presidents, anyways, right? And whether they're rich or poor, 
you just want to know that their their finances are solid because when motherfuckers are desperate for money, right? Then you get into a uh, a Nick's check cashing payday loan situation, right? In this in this scenario, it looks like Trumpy Dumpty has you know maybe probably has gone to Russia as you know it's Nikolai's check cashing, you know, come to Nikolai. <laughs> I check in casting for you today. If it's not, I will. I will have you and killed. And paying back tomorrow, or breaking knees, or breaking democracies. That's, that's what's so. happening right now. And yes, uh, Yoshi, I uh, uh, it's Yoshi. I know about BLM uh, president is in trouble with Georgia for spending over two hundred thousand dollars on furniture and, and entertainment equipment. I understand the BML, BLM, but that doesn't take away from the actual core of. Black Lives Matter. That was the organization had gotten trouble with some shit they did that was shady. So let's separate the shit and still see the importance of Black Lives do matter. But the organization Black Lives Matter is going to have to answer for the fucking shit they did. So yes, that wasn't part of what we was going to talk about. But I lied. I thought I'd just look throw that in there. I, I haven't, I haven't heard about that, but I'll look into it and we can talk about it tomorrow, man. But let's yeah, we will. In right fact, so, young lady, let's yeah. get, let's get predictions on what we think is going to happen tomorrow. And then let's speculate, y'all. I'm drinking bourbon. Fuck it. Let's but let's make shit up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, if you're drinking bourbon in the middle of the afternoon, it, well, it's not. It's somewhere else, it's nighttime. So that's drink, you know that's a good point. I don't drink. You I know what though? I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. Zone. You can't hold me to my time zone. All right. That's not that's how true. my drinking. That's not how my. That's not how you. That's not how your brain works. That's not how my liver but works. No. Pedro got me hip to drinking some wine. And... <laughs> When I say it was a mistake, me actually, I should have let his ass drive me home. When I say that it took me, it's about a 20 minute ride, took me about 45, 50 minutes to get home. I was, was like, damn, I was is this so my house? Tilted. Is this my house? Yeah, I was so tilted. And I only drank two, two things of, uh, wine. oh, and, and edible. Wait a minute. I had a combination. A, it was the mixture. It was a mixture. So I can't front on him drinking. No, it was it white? I, I don't know what kind of wine it was. I'm not up on no, it. He red. knew what kind of wine. It was. Uh, what did we get for the day? We were hanging out with Lisa Tanker, Davida D. What did we? Uh, uh, we were. You, at you picked the wine. I think, I think I got something Spanish that night, like a Tinto, which would be a. Uh, uh, I believe Temperino, which is a, a prominent grape in Spain. But, but it, okay, one. The point is, it was. What is Joe Biden going to do tomorrow? <laughs> okay. Is he going to be right. able to and actually get in that ass? Like I just that? threw that in there think, to let you know. No, he's no, no, he's corrupted me. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. Um, here's the thing. Speaking of corruption, will, will Joe Biden be able to, to bounce off of this properly? Um, I believe that Trumpy Dumpty has set a bar so low for J Joe Biden's intellect, right? Calling him a a drug addict basically and like he needs you know fucking shots of ox come before he goes on stage to right and he's sleepy he's sleepy like, joe and but but you know what but, but, i had said so this when today. he says that it's like it's like a few one two three sharp comments and then you keep hitting them i think i think joe should be okay tomorrow because they've set the bar low like oh, um trumpy dumpty himself has set the bar really low like Right, so with just talk. a name calling, and then he's he's like a child, he name calling. But the bottom line is, he should be introduced as our impeached. He impeached is president, an impeached President Trump. He should be introduced like that because he absolutely was impeached. He should also be introduced as the motherfucker only pays seven hundred and fifty dollars for his taxes and then paid zero the rest of the time. And that's the and and now it's your turn. Understand. Like it should be. In That's 15, what he should do. He got to go in the hard to paint. In fifteen years, he paid fifteen hundred dollars, which is a hundred dollars a year, on average. Do the math. Trip on that. Yesterday also, we said, do the math. Do the math. You have to put your hands together like this when you do the math, though. You have to pencils down. What is your final answer? I'm not finished, teacher. Let me tell you something else that's going on with this. When he goes into the debate tomorrow, I think that the main thing he has to do is they, and since they're not going to fact check him, which I think if they fact checked him in real time, the debate would be 560 <laughs> hours. They would have to constantly stop. Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. That shit ain't right. I'm off a lot. It would be that. So it, I want him to have a little bubble and a nigga in the bubble that just every time he say, that's the bullshit. That's the bullshit. All right. And just sit there again. That, for, that for, 
Trump line. For the debate, uh, Miss Averb says that uh, Trumpy Dumpty's his walk up song should be the JG Wentworth song. <laughs> like, 877 <laughs> Cash Now. 877 Cash Now. <laughs> like, that, that's where he is. But yeah, I think that, and honestly, I wish, I wish that uh, the Biden campaign could hack the, the PA system so that when Trump walks out, they could get that in there. You know how they changed the music to fuck the police when uh, Biden was walking out in that one video? They have a doctor yeah. video of Biden walking out at a at a an event and it's playing Fuck the Police in the background, which totally was not the music being played uh right. at that event. And you know, the Trumpy Dumpty supporters are eating that up like, see he hates the police. Um, they should doctor this whole oh, shit live. Oh. <laughs> just just play the JG Wentworth joint. But um you know, Trump Trumpy Dumpty's gonna be he's gonna be vicious. He's gonna be seventh grade bully. And the thing about the seventh grade bully is that, yeah, they were the biggest kid, but they were probably the poorest, right? So they didn't smell right. They were wearing hand-me-downs or <laughs> hand-me- What's he supposed to say? Well, you know what, Trump? You smell funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you stink. Like, your family, you came, stank. Your family can't pay their water bill. Ooh. <laughs> like, but, you know, like- <laughs> And your mama is on the well. Hell, man, she like on the well. Yeah, like, you know, you can tell. So that, that they bullied because they had a little bit of size, a little bit of power. Um, right. And, and they got it. But really, they were just sad and wounded and, and, and hurt animals, you know, no. out there that needed to be put to pasture like this president. <laughs> and uh, uh, but those were kids. This is a grown ass man who's still acting like that. Right. So um, he's going to be vicious. Grown ass man, an old ass man. Both of them old as fuck. But I just hope Biden can keep up his pace and keep up the energy. Make sure he hits him, tags him heavy. Not only on the and stay in the pandemic. <laughs> stay in the fact that he's an incompetent cunt when it comes to the pandemic. Period. Breezy JJ said, "What about the little jingle? You're going to lose your job. Did you see that one <laughs> with the hooker getting arrested? And she's like, you yeah, about to lose your, lose, lose your job.' <laughs> yeah. So y'all really making um, it? Yeah. Any of those jingles would really, really, really work. Uh, yeah, Breezy, we appreciate that. But I, I feel like this first debate." Not to set the bar too high or or lower too much, but um, this should be a toss up for Joe. Like this should be a got your ass, we on you now. Uh, Letitia James, New York State, and the New York City DA is on your ass. Uh, New York Times got the got your paperwork. We know we know what's up. Your daughter's involved. Your son's sitting in front of the New York courts. Like we're on you, bro. Like this this should be. Right. And you know what? And at the end of everything, he said, and you grab pussy. You grab pussies that ain't the pussies for you to grab. Like at the end of every question that he's asked, Joe Biden said, and he grabs pussies too. Okay. And, and then Joe, go to the Joe, next one. And Joe Biden should just be like, look, sniff the hair first. If that doesn't work out, you back off, bro. <laughs> you back off. You, back you off. do a little hair. You put your man. hands in the air. And you go, freak out. I'm out. If they freak out, then you, you go yeah. to the next one, man. You don't just And they can't even compare in. that. Yo, pretty, pretty rude uh, 99 just joined. We got a few other people that joined. Also, yeah. I want to jump in here and make sure you, y'all, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. I'm going to go to the page now, so I'm going to make sure I'm going to see some of you motherfuckers subscribe. I mean it, goddammit. Shane be watching, Shane be watching y'all motherfuckers, so don't, don't, don't act okay, like you so, followed and you didn't follow. Okay, <laughs> YouTube, we need you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It is just go look for it. Subscribe to Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. That's all you got to do. This you put in I, a search, you find it, and that's it. This one I know I'm getting drunk when I try and uh, scroll through my laptop screen with my thumb like it's my phone. I'm like, ah, oh, god damn Yeah, it. that's that. Thumb yeah. pad. You, you. All right. <laughs> so, so here's the thing, man. Um, Savage AF. Make sure you're always following at Comedian Shang, at Black Pedro, and on IG at Savage AF Radio. If you miss us live yeah. on IG, Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you miss us live here on IG, you can catch us wherever you get your podcasts on all platforms. But most importantly, if you want to see us, you can catch us on YouTube. Just follow, subscribe to Savage AF Podcast. That's all you got to do, guys. You, That's you all you got to do. You won't and miss an episode. And they're there for you. All right, so... Uh, speaking of not missing, that's what uh, Kenosha, Kenosha officer, Kenosha, Wisconsin officer, Rustin Chesky did when he shot Jacob Blake in the back seven times. Say his name. 
He's still alive, but he cannot walk anymore. But I don't know if you guys heard this. This came out on Friday, and I didn't have time to squeeze it into the show, so I want to leave it for today. Um, Shesky says that he believes that Jacob Blake was trying to kidnap those kids that were in the car, the car that he was getting into. Um, he's got my, quote, this is quote, he's got my kid, he's got my keys. This is what Shesky's attorney is saying that Shesky heard on the scene from, from a woman, one of the women on the scene. Um, this, this is Brendan Matthews, his attorney, is saying that this officer heard a woman scream, he's got my kid, he's got my keys. So for shooting him in the back seven times at point blank range, he's saying he believed that Jacob Blake was trying to kidnap those kids. In addition to that, the other officer has come out and said he would have fired but did not have a clear line, a clear shot line, which I actually appreciate that. Thank you. For not nah, because, I don't. No, no, no. Be, no, because beyond that car was a whole was a whole family and a bunch of people were out there. So he didn't have an angle. So thank you for not shooting. But the idea that you would have shot, that's foul. Um, thank you for not doing it's it. Foul, so. It's foul. And you know what? <clears throat> you say he was going to kidnap the kids, and you, which is bullshit. We get it. it I, right. Se sexy. Uh, sexy underscore Puerto Rican said, I call bullshit. I call major epic um, giant Star Wars battle scene bullshit. It's just beyond the level of bullshit. I mean, this is. Yeah. I think that he, it, he wasn't in fear of his life. He wasn't aggressive to the point where he had to do that shit. I just don't understand seven shots in his back and you're no. saying, well, you know what? And if he was trying to kidnap the kids, say by chance, I give you that leeway, which I'm not going to give you, you racist cunt, um, is even if he was, there was no other way you could have fucking stopped him. Yeah. You couldn't have grabbed him. Y'all couldn't have tackled him. Y'all couldn't. Have, you had to blast him in the back and make him a cripple for the rest of his fucking life. Get the fuck out of here. A lot of times when cops talk that shit, there's a reason people say to you, cops, you know, if you didn't have that gun, you know that why they say that. They right. say that because so, you've got a lot of bitch in you. If you're okay. a cop and you, that's the only way you could take somebody down, you should at least have some kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat where you know you could take somebody down without killing them or choking them out yeah. and killing them dead. You should, so, there, there should be some other fucking avenue. And other than when it's a black man, we automatically got to be shot and killed. Fuck you and fuck anybody that actually supports that motherfucker. And if I see this motherfucker on the streets, I swear to God on anything I love. Woo! Yeah, booty team. Uh, so, hey, sexy Puerto Rican said uh, they were his kids. So here's the thing, right? We see Amber Alerts all the time. Parents can kidnap their own kids. So I, I don't want to just say that he couldn't kidnap them. They were his kids, right? Like, that, that's not necessarily true. I didn't, yeah, right? I didn't even that's, say, yeah. No, no, no. And I know you didn't, but uh, I, I just wanted to address that from sexy Puerto Rican. It's like Because people okay, say that. People say that all the time. It could have been. But here's the thing. Another, another layer that they're adding now is that the knife was in hand and he was turning towards the officer when it was shot. Now, they've all, uh, the videos I've seen, they've, they've always been cut off at the pop, pop, pop point. So I've never seen like Jacob Blake's body fall or collapse or what actually happened after he opened the door and like uh, right. initially reached in, right? So, but but they're saying that he had a knife in his hand and was turning around when that shot. That's not on, that's not on the video that any of us, us have seen, but that's their story. And I'm using air quotes but, for, for those. But who we look. can see so, with our eyes that, that you know, but, that he wasn't turning around. But I just want to get into a basic fundamental of self-defense, right? When dealing with weaponry, a person with a gun, you need to rush them, right? Like you need to bum, if you can, if you have any, sort of proximity to them, you need to bum rush somebody with a gun, right? Because you can't run from bullets, right? They, they fly really, really fast, guys. Yeah, right, so you, unless you're so, Hossein Bolt. And Hossein Bolt, yeah. I could get outrun him. Um, I think but, he did the thing with the, but, you know, the thing. But also, unless you're Hussein Bolt, like Usain, not Hussein, but U Usain. Ooh, Usain. Ooh, uh, it's U. You should rush, you should run away from somebody with a knife. 
So how, a, how I know this and a cop doesn't, I don't understand. But once somebody has a knife, you should back up. Right. And, and unless they're Usain Bolt, you should run from them. Usain going to catch your ass and stab the fuck out of you in the back. Not not because that's right. what he do, but I'm just saying. But he could. That's an, if, like, that if, scenario, like if, if he if, if he decided to chase you, probably yeah. catch you. Was yeah. what I'm saying. But the police, I think the bottom line is a lot of times the police, folks, the way they react immediately with us is immediately go to their weapon. I mean, even in instances I had, I was picking my son up. And I had to meet him at the fucking police station. And I had my paperwork with me. And before I could do anything, he started patting off his gun. And, you know, before I could say anything. And then when I gave him the paper, he apologized profusely. Like, yo, I'm picking my son up. What the fuck's wrong with you? Why would you immediately go for your gun? I had nothing in my hand but an envelope. Motherfucker, what are you doing? So for some reason, I think that that's not going to wash. And you got to admit, Pedro, a lot of these shootings with these cops, they immediately go to zero to 60. Right? Like, I don't have to admit shit, Shane, okay? What I know is that y'all need now. to comply and just be good citizens and good Negroes and bow your heads and sing your songs and hold hands and him and do the ha la 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 Yeah, yeah yes, exactly. I, yes, I do. Um, but, they, but... <laughs> absolutely, brother. They, they go from zero to 60, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if you see a man grab a, a knife and you got a gun, you could just back the fuck up and be like, hey, bro, <laughs> drop the knife. Drop that gun. Drop, drop that knife, yeah. Right, so like... And and even if you're unarmed, this is the basic principle. Somebody got a knife, run, try to dodge them because unless they're goddamn crocodile Dundee with it, they're probably not gonna th -th 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 the shit through the air. They're not gonna throw it at you. They gotta get shit. close enough. This so you can be six feet away with a gun and and still you know the take way, them out. For any of my shoot them in the homies, leg too. For any of huh? my college homies before Call of Duty, we used to play uh, 007 James Bond Goldeneye on Nintendo 64, and uh, which some nights we would just go knives only and just throw knives <laughs> on the video. What the fuck was <laughs> wrong with y'all? That's how you hear. We was drunk, and we was 20. But like, okay, yeah, yeah, but if I saw a text like that, I saw you were texting each other, and I saw y'all say <laughs> knives only, nah, I go, nah, nah, I'm really nah. not fucking, you know I'm not that? fucking with these niggas tonight. I think, uh, I think I ain't going to hang out with you guys tonight. Come on, man. It's Nas only night. Come <laughs> yeah. on, man. It's only Nas only night. But no, yeah. you know what? I think the thing is the the cop shot him in the back seven times. But if he really was trying to stop him, what is wrong with a leg shot? Now, I'm not saying that he should even have got a leg shot, but shoot them in the leg. He falls down, most likely not able to stab you with a, a fucking bullet shot to the leg. And that's it. That's just hey. a little tip for you fucking hey. cops, you, you fucking think, cops. You think he's about to get in the car and drive away with these kids and kidnap them? You ever thought about shooting out the tires? Mm. No. Gotta shoot him. You shoot out a tire or four, and yeah, you could walk alongside the car while the fucking hubcaps just grind, while the uh, fucking we the rims just grind. Until he comes to a stop yeah. and get the him sparks, out. When the sparks start going, this nigga, side, he's with the power slide trying to fucking turn in his you could just yeah like, it's all it's bullshit jacob jacob we know just stop the car so obviously we know this is a a bullshit sham cover-up i don't want to stay on this too long we 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 do have one more thing to cover um before we get out of oh here yeah Saturday. we definitely I mean, but this this next one i think we do have enough time to really get yeah, into we got, it we got we got we got a little bit of time but we got a just, little bit that, of time. That, that was just the update for you guys. The, the, the story, this story came out on Friday. It's Monday now, and I, you know, I didn't have time to. We didn't have time to get into it on uh, on Friday, but I just wanted to throw you. You know, we we see it in all of these cases. The way they try to, they it's it's a spin game, man. You know, from from the president on down, it's it's just motherfuckers spinning stories, like spinning stories. Speaking of the cops taking somebody down, I don't know. If, before we go to this last one. Uh, Brad Parscale. Do y'all know about this? He is a uh, Trumpy Dumpty's former campaign manager. I uh, was f fired not too long ago and replaced. Looks like his, a Ken doll. His wife? No, he looks like out of shape Ken doll. He looks like midlife crisis Ken. Like if, yes, they, up yes. if they updated Ken, he's that dude uh, to, you know, like poke, po you know, Stock market crash, Ken, or whatever. You know? Yeah, like yeah. Lost, took a, lost, took a, lost took a lot of pills, Ken, Ken. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you yeah. Know, <laughs> like, got caught up in the housing crisis, Ken. 
is this motherfucker right? But yeah, uh, this is my wife had to turn to be a whore, Ken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So his wife called the cops because she believed he was on a suicide mission, um, barricaded him himself in the house. Cops eventually found uh, ten guns, you know, pistols, shotguns, and rifles. Um, yeah, he was but, gonna do something. But he was gonna do some shit. What got me was the. Uh, you know, not only the fact that in this time of turmoil, uh, that this is Trumpy Dumpty's former campaign manager, who is now being, and when I saw the video, literally tackled by the police in his own driveway, right? Much like we do, but then get killed or choked out, right? But this dude was literally shirtless, shoeless, in shorts, it looked like he had a Bud Light or something. It was a blue can, so I'm assuming it was right. a Bud Light. Right, it didn't look anything. They, yeah. told, they told him to put it down. He put it on the back of his pickup truck, okay? So just some good old boys. <laughs> Never meaning no harm. You know what I mean? That kind and of thing. they tackled the Dude, shit out of it. All, you know, one officer was trying to talk to him. He's literally, he couldn't get service at a, a Walmart. Okay, no shirt, no shoes, <laughs> no service, dog. No service. This was, then all of a sudden they surround him like, get on the ground, get on the ground. They said it twice, he didn't do it. And one, top, one cop tackled him, like full form, like grabbed the knees, bucked his shoulder in, like tucked it in. Fellas, if you ever played football, this was a form tackle. Like, this and, motherfucker and you, know what? Was a might, you know what? I gotta, I gotta just say something, though. I gotta say something. It was good. It was good form. I think that he did the straight line pretty well. The way he. Bucked his shoulders up. I got to say something, man. I've seen a lot of tackles in this it. business. I've seen a lot of tackles in this fucking business. I watch a lot of football, and I'm going to tell you right now, I got to give it to him. That was a pretty good uh, so, fucking tackle. So yeah, it, it was. Honestly, it was funny, and and honestly, weird. I was like, damn, they're really out here, like, tackling topless crackers right now. Like, But this, this yeah, is crack. Yeah. This is cracker on cracker violence. You know what I mean? Like, it's the police. <laughs> this I dude, love it, though. This dude, is, is this fucked up? Because I is, sat there and went, this I got to something we've never this. seen before. I, I've never seen this before, but it was cracker on cracker. I'm like, yo, this, this, this dude you're tackling right now is the most cracker of crackers. He has nothing on him. He has on shorts and nothing else. <laughs> and you're literally <laughs> form tackling him like a, 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 you know, a Mike or a, a Will linebacker. Um. That being said, guys, before we get out of here tonight, uh, September 28, 2020, Savage AF, Power by Yes, Dash. and I want to thank again like to everybody, and I'm not being self-serving, but this is the truth. I really do appreciate it because I've been having a lot of shit going on, not to the point where I need to be shirtless and tackled out in my front of my fucking place. But um, thank you for the birthday wishes. At, at my age of 75, it's a, you know I appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Don't believe this nigga, man. I hope y'all don't believe this <laughs> No, that's sad. Wait a minute, hold up. Yeah, listen, 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 young blood. You see, when I start saying, listen, young blood, I'm trying to say something to the motherfucking people now. Shook it, shook it now. Shook it, shook it now. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but now he said, don't believe me. No, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. I saw some of the people inbox me. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you. Also, sure. if you want to do me a favor, make sure that you um, subscribe. How about that? Subscribe. If you want to give me a gift, subscribe to Savage AF. The uh, Savage AF podcast on YouTube, and that would be a really nice gift since you can't <laughs> send money. But if you want to send money, you get in the <laughs> inbox me, and I'll yeah, send you yeah, my stuff. Yeah, that, that, all of that. In uh, fact, I'll put it up here right now on PayPal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so before we get out of here, guys, we are dealing. We are still in the midst of all of this financial scandal for the president, death of RBG, nomination of uh, fucking. Death vagina in in ACB, uh, Amy Con Coney Barrett, um, with, with pandemic, clandemic, California's on fire. The racial is, strife, racial strife. Um, the earth is Portland, and all of right. that. Earthquakes, we, we still fires. Have, we still have a pandemic. We still have only ten k ten states uh, showing a reduction in cases. Uh, man, we are still in a forty. 5,000 new case range per day. So we are discovering between 40 and 50,000 new cases per day in America. Right. And deaths, wait a minute, and deaths are in some, some states are still pretty much at the same level. Our death rate 
according to uh, like our death rate relative to what it should be, which means that we could admit we can mitigate this thing. It doesn't have to spread. It doesn't have to kill people. Our death rate is high, right? Like I said earlier this week, it's almost 3%. It's 2.8 something, right? Do the math. Not this week, last week, because it's Monday. But it was last week, yeah. It was last week. Do, do the math, you know what I'm saying? So in all of this, they, they don't want us to really think about it. Meanwhile, they're trying to use it now, the, the, the pandemic, as a distraction from all the other shit. So understand this is how plate spinning and smoking mirrors work. So now the narrative is we've got 150 million rapid tests that we're going to be able to do per month. When we, really what we need is 150 million per day to be able to open up these leagues and these sports and these schools. You, you need to right. be able to test. School and to open test the school safely. Rapidly, exactly. 15 minute results per day like that. But they're not doing that. But they want to throw it out like they're doing something. And I just want to use this, these ending moments to remind everybody that with all this going on, we are heading back into what's being predicted as uh, the most dangerous time, which is flu slash pandemics, right. uh, COVID-19 season. So stay smart, stay diligent, stay protected, um, and, and don't fall into this, you know, monkey-minded raccoon cracker bullshit. Like, yeah, and, and the bottom safe. line is everybody understand this. With people going inside more, even though it may suck you're going to have to be, you know, still get out a little bit more. That's what I saw from a lot of the doctors. I saw a rundown from the doctors of what they need to do. But the end of the day is for them to say they want to do it now, I still think it's too late. And I think Biden should definitely bring up, I hear you, you're going to put 150,000, you know, uh, now uh, 150 million out there now. Where the fuck was you at in March, bitch? If he, if he just say that shit, thank you, J News. J News in the building. News. I'm just saying. Yeah, and also, you know what else? I just, I also, I wanted Jamie Fox. I was gonna say this. I wanted Jamie Fox to be on a, on a fucking speaker when Trump's talking. I'm in your conscious. You're lying now. You're a lying motherfucker. Like, yeah, exactly. I want you. <laughs> yeah, I'm in your conscious. Please, Biden, don't be no softy, softy motherfucker, Yo, and ham. try to be nice. Go ham on this bitch. Hard but I'm all. saying, and y'all need to go ham on protecting yourself. Because I'm telling you right now, and this is wild shit. A mask, a mask, motherfucker. I saw this meme, and I know you don't usually believe in memes, but I know I, I gotta say this one. That during the World War, World War uh, overseas in Europe, they asked, "Please, people, cut off your lights so the bombers don't have a target." That's all. Just cut your lights off at certain times, just because the bombers are flying over. And there weren't people saying, "I'm gonna keep my lights on." Fuck that. I want my building to be blown up. So it's not just like, about you. I can't you. jack it's, off when it's dark. <laughs> like, yeah. Right. And when it's dark, I can't see what I'm touching, and I don't That's need that in reason. my fucking life. <laughs> yes. Yo. So it's a basically, and they said, now, now it, you know, we can, interchange we can that with a man. You're we, saving right. other people, and you're saving yourself. Yeah. And we got a minute and a half. Um, oh, shit. Th 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 that's the reality. That's the reality, right, is that if, if we... Because they're ultimately, and we've been saying this for a while, they're, they're ultimately leaving it up to us as individuals. Like, when, when Florida, Florida has now fully reopened, they're full bar, full club, no mask requirement, no fines for not wearing masks. Um, understand, that's going to be a shit show. South Carolina is about to host a biker rally. As if we haven't seen what a biker rally does, to this fuck with this yes, fucking virus. Yes. So, and, and you know what? That's going to be a shit show. It's it's shit show. So don't buy into the shit show. Florida, eh, I'm not going to really miss you that much, but I'm just telling you, it's about to be a wrap. <laughs> Under really the sea. Be... Yeah, they, they're yeah, anyway, yeah. so they about to, they about to be, it's about to be a wrap with them anyway. Hey, yeah. So we got 30 end of the day, we're about to get so, out of here. So um, before we bounce, y'all, I just want to remind you that we are going to be back here tomorrow, Tuesday, through Thursday, six. at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, then back again on Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard 3 Time. 3 p.m. Follow us wherever you get your podcast, and follow us on YouTube, Savage AF Podcast. Podcast. Five, four, three, two.